Hello artists, today we are going to be drawing an owl together. So to start my owl, I'm going to do a large letter U shape on my paper in the middle, and then connect the top two points with a smaller stretched out letter U. Then I'm going to add the eyes of my owl with two large circles and a beak with a triangle. Notice how my eyes touch in the middle. Then inside, I'm going to add two more circles each to add the pupils of my eyes. Then I'm going to draw two curvy lines on each side for the wings. You could draw your wings closed like mine or spread out like it's flying. Add some zigzags on the bottom for the talons or the feet. And then along the side, I'm just going to draw a straight line down the side, give it a little wiggle, and then a branch that comes out. This is going to be the tree that our owl is sitting on. Once you have that, you can add more details. Maybe you want a moon in the top, some texture on the side. Texture, remember, is how something feels. So I'm adding the texture of the bark of the tree to make it look like it might feel like wood. I put a crescent moon at the top because owls are nocturnal, which means they come out at night. And then I'm adding more texture onto my owl. So some feathers by just making a bunch of curvy lines over and over again. Then I can add some smaller textures by making little lines on the wings of my owl. If at any point during this video you need to pause and replay a step, please feel free to do so. I'm drawing quickly, but you can always pause and go back if you missed a step. Once I have my texture in, I'm going to plan how I'd like to add my color. Today I'll be using markers, but you're welcome to use any materials you'd like. So to begin, I'm going to outline the space that I would like to add color into, and then using the side of my marker, color in carefully to make sure I can still see the texture from my permanent marker that I used at the start. If you're using a different coloring material, then you might shade darker or lighter to add some difference in your texture of your owl. I'm going to do a pattern on my feathers. If you would like to make your owl more abstract or unique, you could add different textures and designs. Instead of feathers, maybe you do polka dots or zigzags. You can get creative and try different things with your owl to make it look unique and more artistic. Adding cool colors into my owl today, I'm using blue, purple, and green. I think I might add some gray in there to make it look a little bit more realistic in some spaces. Some owls have gray feathers. I've never seen an owl with green feathers before, so my owl is part real and part abstract. Once I'm done coloring the feathers, I'll decide how I'd like to color the rest of my owl. Since it's nighttime, I'll make the background a little darker, probably color the bark of the tree with my brown marker. I'm adding some pops of yellow in here to make it stand out and look more interesting. Coloring the beak yellow. Some pink eyes because I think that would be fun to see an owl with pink eyes. I decided to color the rest of my owl with gray to make it look a little more calm so that the areas that have brighter, more unique colors can stand out. Now I'm going to color the talons. That's the name of the feet on owls. And then using my brown marker, I am going to color in the bark of my tree. And I'm not going to color it solid like I've colored everything else. Instead, I'm just going to do some strips of brown in the bark 
to make that texture, that rough texture, it might feel rough when you touch the bark if you could touch this tree. I'm trying to show that by using my marker on the side. I'm just doing a couple strips of color here and there to make it look more unique and interesting. And then since the background is such a large space, it could take me a while to color that with my marker. So instead, I've decided to use some colored pencil. Crayon or oil pastel works great. If you have watercolors at your house, doing a large space with watercolors is a great choice. I'm just going to take my purple colored pencil and shade the background in. And then maybe later I'll go in with some watercolor on top of my colored pencil to make it even darker and look more like nighttime. But for now I'm just doing a light shading of my colored pencil. And that's it, now you have an owl. I suggest that you take some time to plan out your colors and your shapes before you decide to fill in your owl to make it more interesting for you.